Okay, let's get started. These are our tools. The only thing different are the pair of clamps there. So we're going to take our little nozzle, make sure we've got our uh, heat block the right way up and screw that in. Done. Beautiful. Nice. Uh, we're going to go and take our throat tube, same thing, make sure everything's the right way up so I can tell because it's a little bit heated and screw that in nice and tight. Now we're going to unscrew our nozzle just about a half turn just over, between a turn and a half turn and then we're going to th screw in our throat tube really, really nice and tight there. Very good. Now grab our clamps that we had there. These are actually just from a car uh, and an 8mm spanner and really, really nicely tighten off your nozzle there. Really tight. Um, don't break anything. Don't go too crazy. Screw on your nut, ready to go. And thread that into the bottom of your extruder carriage. Um, I've got my extru extruder body in there. I've just pulled it out now so I can see what I'm doing. And make sure you thread it all the way through so you can see it popping up through the top of your uh, of the extruder body there. Uh, we'll get a close-up look to make sure exactly what we're looking for, but what we want to see is uh, the, the throat tube right by the gears there, without touching. Can't touch, but close. Now tighten everything off. Um, we're using the, the little mini spanner that came with the kit there, but you can use a better one if you want to. Now, the heater. We're going to put the heater element right through this big hole, and then down to the bottom left, 45 degrees-ish, there's a little tiny hole for the thermistor. Not this big one up here, not that one, down here's the one. So we feed it through, all the way through, make sure it's popping out the other side, and then we tighten off our grub screw nice and tight. Nice and tight again, guys, make sure it doesn't pop out. Putting our uh, extruder back together again, pretty straightforward, we've all been through this. Uh, nice and frustrating, very frustrating this bit, very good. Uh, make sure you squeeze down, um, push the springs down, compress the springs. Now we've got our stress relief. This is very important guys, very important. Make sure you get your stress relief with all of your cables in, nice and tight and really, really organized and really carefully. So I've fixed some solder breaks and uh, we're good here guys. We've uh, got our stress relief, cable tray moves nice, we're done.